This sort of role is so rare and such a treat. Bridget Jones's diary struck a chord with a generation of women who could relate to Bridget's struggles with her career, love life, and weight. Is it because I'm overweight that things never work out? Yes. <sighs> I wanted her to look like what she looked like in my mind's eye after having read the book. And she does have a different lifestyle than me, and I wanted her body to reflect that. To gain 30 pounds for the role, Renee quit exercising and followed a doctor's meal plan. It was really a healthful plan that I cheated on quite a bit. It's a very big film, huge buzz, huge expectation, and two enormous stars. You walk in and you feel like, whoa! Renee earned an Oscar nomination for her performance, but when she was cast, there was a national outcry with Brits upset the Texas-born star was chosen to play Londoner Bridget. I think probably the most pressure probably came from myself, you know, because I just didn't want to uh, blasphemize the language for so many reasons, or the book, because I loved it so much. Hugh even admitted he initially had doubts, but as he told us back in the day, Renee ultimately pulled off the accent impeccably. Is there someone here? When she was learning, perhaps she went a bit posh. She sounded a bit like Princess Anne for a bit. By the time we started shooting, she was, I mean, bang on. And you know, she did it all the time off the set as well. I never spoke to her in her Texan accent until we got to the rap party. And then it was just freaky. I wanted to call for security. It felt terrible. It felt like a fraud. <laughs> The movie is also known for having one of the best on-screen brawls ever. And when Hugh and Colin filmed this scene fighting over Bridget, it was completely improvised. We threw the stuntman out and we just fought like, as though we were two middle-class educated Englishmen who'd lost their tempers. The idea largely came from Hugh, actually, was just to make it messy. We got on with fighting us. Probably we would really do it, I'm ashamed to say. The last time we saw Bridget was in the third movie, Bridget Jones's Baby, five years ago. And over the years, Renee has said she loves the character so much, she is willing to do a fourth film. Well, from a selfish perspective, I wouldn't mind. <laughs> it's a lot of fun.